What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle, and basically I'm just another spiritual weirdo here on the internet doing tarot and astrology videos, but I am not all love, light, twin flames, and unicorns, so please keep that in mind. Okay, Sag, I'm a little nervous for this because um, we're about to get real here, okay? We're about to get real. <laughs> looking at your astrology <clears throat> and looking at your cards, there's a huge theme here with you guys. And I don't know, I can't pin down exactly what it is, but I can tell you a roundabout way of what I see here, okay? So let me think about how I would start this, okay? So this month in October, okay, there is a lot that is going to reveal itself when it comes to how you may be seeking or looking for attention, validation, or connection, or even love via other people. Um, or even if the people in your life are right for you, whether it's friends, acquaintances, people that you talk to, social circles, things like this. <clears throat> it could also be relationships, but I feel like it's more of how you put yourself out there, whether it's online or whether it's with people that you're close to, friends, whatever, okay? There is a huge theme here of if you are being true to yourself. And if you're not, this month is really going to show you that because the South Node is in your sign. So you are learning a lot of karmic lessons about yourself and you are shedding old layers of identity and behaviors that no longer align with who you are now, okay? So um, you may be doing certain things or have these certain kind of defense mechanisms where you are seeking some kind of approval, validation, something. And I know that sounds like really shitty. I get it. People don't like being told, but you know, we're all attention seeking in some way because that's how I mean, that's the psychology of it, right? That's how we grow up, you know? If we don't wanna eat our food when we're a kid, we basically know that if we don't eat our vegetables, that our parents are gonna be pissed and therefore we're not gonna receive that attention or love or connection. Now, that's just a small example. Some people had it way worse than that. So we take that into our adulthood and we do certain things to get some kind of connection instead of just being real about it or surrounding ourselves with people that are going to give us the right attention or the right connection or even down to like oh okay like you know maybe i need to look at why i do this or maybe i need to do the shadow work on it you know and it's funny because a lot of y'all have been coming to me lately for readings you know and it, it really and and i've had a lot of sagittarius people whether sag rising sag sun sag moon come to me lately for readings and all of it basically deals with connection and who you are and your path and all of that stuff but always some kind of <clears throat> connection or social situation and so basically <laughs> the first couple cards that came out are what it, or i'm sorry am i consistently showing up and then we'll read the back in a little bit and then we also have what am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? So, <laughs> and then we also have the solar plexus chakra, which deals with our place of identity and confidence and who we are, our self-esteem, all of that stuff. Um, and it says the frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life supports our sense of self, our personal power, our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. And this is it right here. If I could say your biggest theme for this month, this is it. Some of y'all may need to be working on your solar plexus chakra. I'm just saying, you know, like you may need to be doing, I don't know, some meditation, some Reiki, uh, you know, some shadow work, something, because this solar plexus chakra is such a big deal for you guys this month. It really deals with your sense of self. And if that sense of self is being compromised because of other people or because of what you're trying to gain from other people. Um, and then we also have the third eye chakra. Now, this is important, too, because you guys have a lot of 12th house energy going on, you know, for the next two months. 
um, you know, with that Scorpio shit, especially if you're a Sag rising. So, and with Mercury retrograding there, there's going to be a lot of shit that comes out, like a lot of hidden shit that comes to the surface that you're like, damn, um, wow. <laughs> and it can be a little shocking and you're going to see how these things have somehow compromised your sense of who you are um, or have somehow been holding you back from being liberated on a day-to-day -day level. So we have the third eye chakra. It says, um, the third eye chakra supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. So another thing, maybe some third, some of you guys may need to be working on your third eye as well, you know, like there may be some bullshit that you're not quite seeing through and it could be with yourself or it could be with other people, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like you guys are really stuck on this idea of separation, like me versus them or, you know, me versus this or whatever, you know, like um, we're not the same or, or whatever the case may be. I feel like some of you guys are really possibly stuck on the idea of separation, which is really kind of keeping you stuck. But others of you guys, I feel like you're stuck because you are not progressing, okay? And that really kind of goes back to these two cards. Am I consistently showing up and am I waiting on others to do it for me or someone else to do it for me? Um, and it's not to say, Sag, that I'm saying you guys are like lazy or anything like that. I mean, you could be and that's okay if you are, but that's not what I'm saying. I feel like this is more so like, what are you waiting for, you know? Um, <clears throat> so I feel like there's a lack of progress here because we have the seven of pinnacles and the devil to start you off. So there's a lack of progress here. Um, and then we go into the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And that's kind of like, am I waiting on someone else to do it for me? Or what am I waiting for, you know? Um, are you putting a little bit too much time into some kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of validation? or partying for some of you, drinking. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, could, this could definitely be drinking or some kind of like something that's like really taking you away from your everyday shit or your responsibilities or feeling like you're progressing in the world. Um, if it's not drinking, it could just be social situations, friends, the internet, you know, connecting with other people in some way because you're, you're seeking this Ace of Cups but you're not filling your own cup first, okay? Just like I said, I was gonna be real with you guys. Um, so yeah, and then we have the five of wands, you know? So there's some conflict going on here. This can even be inner conflict, you know? <clears throat> this can be inner conflict where it's like you're betraying yourself, you're betraying your own goals, what's important to you, your own values. Okay, Saturn and Pluto are going direct and Capricorn. So this is all about really getting, like, really kind of locking down, you know, buckling down on your values, on your morals, on what's important to you, what really has value here. You're not going to be able to just kind of, like, put things off that you've been putting off anymore um, this month, starting this month, Sag. So... With the five of wands here, it's so funny because they're kind of, some of them are wearing masks. <laughs> I don't think that deals with COVID at all, but yeah, anyway. But so yeah, there could be, um, some of you guys may be participating in like online shit or uh, conflicts or something like that. And it's like taking you away from your own life or living your own life. Um, and also... But if not, this could be some kind of conflict within yourself, you know? Like, I really need to get these things done, but my attention's over here because that makes me feel better because then I don't have to deal with all this shit, right? Like, it makes me feel better to go online and like people's posts or to have people show me attention or to go out with my friends or to whatever. And so there is kind of like a element here of social situations that have been toxic for you. Now, there's also an element here of um, kind of like where are you maybe 
giving up your own personal um, values, like I was kind of saying before, that's not even what I was going to say. I just kind of lost my train of thought, so I just started saying something. Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, I feel like there's something here that you guys are, there's some kind of shadow work that needs to be done. There's some kind of insecurity that needs to be addressed here for you to move forward. And it definitely has to do with your solar plexus and your third eye chakra. But I also, that's what I was going to say, I also feel like this is some shit. Um, there's some kind of toxic friendship, relationship thing that you're doing in your life that this month is trying to kind of detox you from, okay, starting this month. Um, also, there may be some stuff that comes out, that kind of comes out that you didn't know about. But there's definitely something going on here. There may be some kind of conflict that you get in with someone else. Because <clears throat> after the Five of Wands, we have the Two of Wands and then the Five of Swords. So, and for some of you, I feel like this is kind of like a choice, like having to, like really looking at what your position is on a certain situation or this situation. Because I feel like, you know, your position is like, oh, I'm, I'm different or I'm not in the conflict. But really you're also with the Five of Swords behind the Two of Wands, it's like, you're betraying something or it's like this conflict or this situation is a lose-lose situation especially if you're only looking at it from one side whatever this situation is and it's probably going to happen mid to end month okay <clears throat> so make sure that you're looking at it from all sides and not just charging full speed ahead um, with the knight of wands here but there also may need to be some movement that you take to where you maybe separate yourself because we end with the hermit, you know? Um, like I said, it's not necessarily like separating yourself. I know I said like you're separating, you're thinking that you're different, but actually maybe you're doing the same thing in some way is basically what I'm saying. There is no separation, but there may be some time where you need to go inside, where you need to go and kind of like go into hermit mode basically and do your own thing and to understand your own truth and to understand your own self instead of looking for some kind of fix me thing, <laughs> some kind of quick fix outside of you. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So hopefully that's making sense. Let me know down below that it is. It's also very interesting on the bottom of the deck because we have like the same story again. We have the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords, which is basically like, you know, some kind of message, some kind of communication or news. Then we have the Six of Wands. So maybe sharing your opinion, putting your opinion out there makes you feel confident. Okay. That's what you like working on. That's what you like doing. Um, there's something here that you're trying to do in the public and then the Hierophant here, it's like, but are you being, like, too religious about it? Are you being biased or are you being self-righteous about it, Sag? It's like it's time to shed some of those qualities. Like, where are you not seeing the other side of something, you know? Where are you not looking at yourself as well? That's a big one. Shit, I forgot. Hold on. I forgot these cards. So... Um, the what am I waiting for someone else to do it for me card says are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap what if you were to take it take life into your hands and forge your own unique path put your heart into action and ask yourself what risk can you take to move towards your dreams make a decision and do it no more waiting for others Ooh, do it scared take the leap so yeah like it said do it scared like you can still be scared and do it you know um, it says, no more thinking, only doing, be brave, and you will discover what you are really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. And then, am I consistently showing up? Some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Oh my God. <laughs> Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent in your dream. Journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful goals, then show up. Damn, Sag. Wow, okay. So yeah, that is basically what I have for the tarot. 
going into your astrology, Sag, um, this Aries full moon is happening in a place for you that is all about um, children, fun, pleasure, hobbies, creativity, your identity, you know, what you, what you do for fun and who you feel like you are. And so it may be, and it's going to be conjunct Chiron, so it may be showing you where you have some in insecurities in that solar plexus chakra, okay, where you have some insecurities or where you don't feel confident in who you are because maybe you're not taking action on the things that you truly love to do or maybe some of the things that you used to love to do are now toxic for you. They're now hurting you, okay, with the devil and the three of cups, that definitely goes with this Aries full moon energy. Where are you doing things seeking some kind of comfort that are hurting you now, <clears throat> okay? And then um, Venus is going to be in a spot for you that's all about your public reputation. So you're going to be like really worried about your public reputation and how you're looking to other people, which is kind of what we went over as well. And like I said, Saturn and Pluto are going to be direct. That's going to really push you to like focus on your own values, your own morals, um, on the 13th, Mercury goes retrograde and, and the sign right before yours, Scorpio. <clears throat> so this is going to bring up some really subconscious shit to the surface. You know, insecurities, old wounds, old issues, things that you need pain and old things that you need to transform to basically be able to heal. Um, transforming those pains and those wounds into your power, into your strength. Um, but by doing that, you have to face them. You have to become very introspective, okay? Could bring out a lot of secrets as well. Could bring out a lot of subconscious habits that are affecting your day-to-day -day life, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's something else. This is more about your spiritual and subconscious health. And if you need to purge things in order to liberate yourself, this can also be where psychological wounds are affecting your day-to-day your -day life okay, and your body and your health and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, the mundane shit that you don't want to do, okay, and then on the 16th, we have the new moon in Libra, so <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a freaking new moon, man, and that's in your 11th house, so this is where it's like time to move forward, time to integrate these new parts of yourself and move forward with this new perspective of who you are out into the world, Okay, um, and this is where you may even see some things about your friends or your social life that you didn't see before. Certain relationships in your life, um, you may start, start seeing things around mid-month about these people or about certain people in your life. Also, uh, on the 27th, Mercury will retrograde back into the sign of Libra. And then it's really going to be on. Then you're really going to be seeing things and reflecting on your friendships, your relationships, your social life, all of that kind of stuff. And then on the 31st on Halloween, we have a Taurus full moon in your house of health, daily routine, the mundane shit. So this is going to be your fresh start. <laughs> this is going to be where it's like, okay, Sag, you've got to take care of this shit that you have been putting off. You have these responsibilities. The only way you're going to liberate yourself from these is to face them. And once you do, you will feel so freaking liberated. But it may, if you haven't faced them, it may bring them to the surface. You know, if you've been putting something off with health or with some kind of appointment or something, something that you like on a day-to-day -day basis, the mundane shit, some kind of task, something, a commitment, whatever, it's going to like, it's going to pop out. You know, so you got to take care of that shit, Sag. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys, Sag. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully it resonated. Let me know down below. If not, you're free to watch your other signs as well. And I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.